and a warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Kinlami, coming up on today's episode of the program. The relationship between Nigeria and Brazil is expressed in this FCT Art Fiesta. Then in Lagos, the beauty of African culture is seen in the craftsmanship of this female creative. We we'll enjoy that and more when Art House returns in a moment. Do join us again. Being a woman writer, I will be deceiving myself if I said I write completely through the eye of a man. There's nothing bad in it, but that does not make me a feminist writer. Let's begin in the nation's capital, Abuja, as we enjoy the highlights from the Brazil-Nigeria Art and Cultural Festival, which features an exhibition by Urisu Gallery. The rains did not stop art enthusiasts from being part of the Brazil-Nigeria Cultural Festival, an event which had been on for several days. What the exhibition aspires to do is to highlight and underscore the connectivity between the Yoruba and Brazil with a focus on the artwork that has arisen as a result of the spirituality of both nations. You know, Nigeria were very, very spiritual people. Brazil, they're also very, very spiritual people. And the spirituality has informed the creation of extremely beautiful and amazing works of art. Dignitaries move around to enjoy the interesting lineup of events. This exhibition by Orison Gallery is one of the attractions as it shows how spirituality can inspire artists to create paintings, sculptures, installations and other pieces. A great number of uh, Brazilian citizens have their roots in Nigeria. So, uh, you know, based on even the uh, art exhibition that we, we just saw, uh, it showcased the fact that um, uh, some spiritual activities, you know, of the Yoruba Kingdom, you know, has infuse itself into Brazilian you know, culture. Uh, because of the slave trade, uh, a lot of uh, people from Nigeria were taken to Brazil. Uh, and now, you know, they've become part of that uh, system. Uh, so I think that's also uh, the reason why uh, the Brazilian embassy here in Nigeria, you know, felt, you know, within this one week of uh, Brazil-Nigeria celebration, uh, to ensure that um, an element of Nigerian culture, you know, that has really shown great potential in Brazil, showcased uh, you know in this uh, activity you know artworks are inspiration you understand and especially uh, the gallery was full of yoruba creativity and you know they are very very rich in the art craft so i think it's important this exchanging of nigeria uh, artwork with the Brazilian artwork, you understand that, like I said, can expand, expand more to the world. The Warrior King, an ink and watercolor and canvas 120 by 60 centimeter work by Adeniji Adeyemi. The Queen of the Ocean, a plaster cast image by Olisa Wadubu. The Market Woman, a charcoal and canvas 122 by 122 centimeters piece by Stephen Osuchuku which depicts food at the feet of this trader, attributed as the greatest source of wealth, is just amongst other pieces exhibited by different artists. We are celebrating the spirituality of our Yoruba culture. You know, the biggest Yoruba community outside uh, Western Africa, outside of Nigeria and Western Africa, is in Brazil. 
So uh, the Yoruba culture is very present in Brazil for many centuries. So that's why it's so important for us Brazilians to know better the Yoruba culture and the Nigerian culture, because it's part of our history. You know, there is a long-standing uh, 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 link between a long-standing, uh, uh, a common history, uh, a very important human, historical, and cultural connections between the two countries that dates back to the 16th century, 17th century. So that's exactly what we're celebrating here alongside the, the Brazilian Independence Day. Before today, I wasn't really aware of the you know, connection between Nigeria and Brazil. I mean, I knew that we had some similarities, but um, with the artwork, you showed me that there's like a deeper connection, like historically, and yeah, it was just amazing to find out more about the connection between Nigeria and Brazil. A very, very important exhibition because uh, it's portrayed the cultural aspect between uh, Nigeria and Brazil. And I think uh, uh, it's very important because uh, we know that uh, Yoruba, what they present there is a very important uh, aspect of the Nigerian culture. And uh, have it so in uh, Brazil, in other countries, uh, in America Latina and uh, Africa too. Huh? It's a piece from one of the top um, producers in Brazil, which is named Villa Lobos, Amari Dere. It simply speaks about the culture of music, expressing the actions behind the art such of music, how dynamic the culture of Brazil is. So bringing it down, we need to bring it down to Nigeria to interpret it and see where we can make it more elaborative, more creative. Inspiration to create has always been the driving force behind any artistic material. There is still so much to explore. There is still so much creativity going on, especially, you know, young up-and-coming artists. There is a whole lot that is going so, you know, I feel that people should focus more on the good things you know, the way art and creativity brings life, it brings beauty, it brings hope, it brings purpose. So I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased and I'm grateful to God for the opportunity to um, be involved in this kind of collaboration. What you saw down there, like the gallery, was an exhibition of what says these are a unified people. So for me, it's a take-home effect for that. The art, the culture, the dances, and everything. And the cultural connection between both countries shines through in this festival. Togo, a painter from Botswana whose practice is rooted in his identity as a Motswana artist that's a member of the Twana people, an ethnic group of the Southern African country working from a place of continuous discovery, exploring issues of personal identity, mythology and place with his latest display at the KO Gallery in Lagos. He, when he gets a theme, he really goes into it and he actually uses a lot of green. His paintings are all green and uh, he has sort of black, uh, black figures, black bodies. And so that's really what he's trying to show is, you know, black figures. But this one, he's got a sort of um, showing us a lot of teeth, um, as you can see behind, you know, those four teeth above somebody coming out of the mouth. 
um, so he's sort of fixated on that. So when he has a theme, he just goes into it and we think he has amazing talent. Seven Propositions for the Origin of a Black Body is the title of this solo exhibition of paintings where the artist tells captivating stories wrapped around that number seven. It's not your regular show as its technique is unique. The exhibition comprises seven suites of paintings, each presenting a different imagined origin story where the artist explores a range of propositions, including the process of a figure's self-making, the body as a prop on a film set, and the environmental effects of industry. What I find really intriguing about the work is how relaxed his face is despite being faced with this monstrous looking thing and he just seems at peace and he's just like, well, yes, we're here vibing. <laughs> and I think I, it made me more interested in kind of like finding out the folklore stories from Botswana because I can see that's where some of the inspiration for the work came when I read the um, preview of what he had to say and that was really interesting. I think it kind of shows how many African countries have their own stories and tales and how you know growing up we had our own as well with the whole Madame Coin Koi and a bunch of other stories and it's really interesting I would say. Just to see the the creativity that's happening in the continent I think that's what we want to take you know and how different it is in each region so we're happy to showcase different African artists in Nigeria. Vitogo holds an MFA from Michael School of Arts in the University of Cape Town, South Africa, and has held several exhibitions outside his home country, Botswana. Lovely fiesta and exhibition there. Now let's hear from our wordsmith for this week, then Art House returns with more. Do stay with us. Our wordsmith for this week is titled Silver and Gold by Iwo's Heart. She's called Yawura. Everyone loves her, not just for her, but for Wura. A gem to behold, a jewel we crave. Her mother is beautiful, but her beauty surpasses her mum's. But they're both priceless. Let me carry her. Let me play with her. Let me kiss her. Wura omwayo. Wura asanwa. Glittering and sparkling. Shining and inviting. Her smile, the true definition of heaven. more of people within the creative space and within the entertainment industry so they're coming to learn they're coming to be empowered to network you know and those who are within the art section where you draw you paint you can come and showcase your pieces at the summit i haven't heard the art of expression especially here in lagos um, and we have a mentorship program called the uh, us and friends mentorship so we have people from Los Angeles and a few other people from the diaspora that is going to mentor some mentees from the um, art of expression and they're gonna be there for three months it's gonna be three months and it's just gonna be full of just eventful things they're gonna learn and it's gonna be amazing and these are the works of art you sent in recently Let's begin with this one called After the Rainy Sunset is a thread on canvas piece by Naomi Twatek.
then don't quit, keep going. That's what Atman, the last born, is saying with his Byron paperwork. Then Tomiwa Adelago is exploring dreams with this mixed media on textured linen. Then Kabu Kabu is what Ifa Inaji is exploring through oil on canvas. Then Piccolo Art says he painted his department at the Amadabilu University. It's done with reverse color on paper. Then this acrylic painting is by Ogechi Animashan. It's called Imperfect Me. The Vague is a digital painting by HD Art Studios. While Cheese Art Official is showing us unity in diversity, done with mixed media. Another mixed media piece which concludes the works of artists sent in today is done by Abiola King. He calls this Miracle Woman. And that wraps up the works of art you sent in recently. We really appreciate you for sending them in as always and encourage you to keep them coming. We have seen her organize many art shows on this program. Now she has decided to show her creativity through a display of craftsmanship in Lagos. It's not your usual exhibition. This unconventional space has been kept spiced up with an array of creative elements from textile art to crafts seen in ornaments of all sorts, mixed media paintings, sculptural pieces, furniture to this tree that houses many photographs that capture the energy within Lagos and beyond, all put together by Ifai Chuku or Aimeka. This exhibition is titled Tales, and Tales is just exploring and trying to present the you know, ingenuity of African artists and their crafts. Today here we have um, clothing, we have jewelry, we have some art books. I'm just, you know, doing this to promote and push the African crafts. He's telling a lot of stories about the African culture, about the richness of Africa, about the abundance that that is that that abounds in Africa. He tells a tale of all the collections, stones, works of art, uh, uh, beautiful pieces that this person, this curator, this artist, if I America, has put together for our viewing pleasure and also to broaden our horizon about the beauty of Africa. The pieces exhibited, lifelike, are both simple and complicated, capturing a variety of forms, shapes, sizes, materials, patterns and cultures, and connections which convey messages and stories unique to Africa. When you look at um, my craft, or some of my jewelry that people wear, you can see some African motifs or CBD symbols on them. So I'm not just beautifying people, I'm also using those crafts to tell a story. Um, a lot of people do not know the meaning of these symbols when they say it, and that's where you can find around the hall. So you see some inscriptions where I put for, so people can read and get to know what these things mean. Africans as a people, we give a lot of reference to God, and these symbols to talk about that. It's talk, talk, talking about family, it's talking about community, it's talking about people, it's talking about the origins of the continent of Africa. So and that is what um, the message you find on my jewelry.
Africa is beautiful. Africa is rich. Africa is large. There is so much that can be drawn. Africa is like a well that is yet to be that yet yet to be drawn from. So wherever you are dealing with Africa from, either on this ground fiscally at this institution, or wherever you are around the world dealing with Africa, just know that there's there's a well, there's goodness, there's beauty that you can derive from Africa. Those who have seen her coordinate other people's shows are in awe at this new level of creativity and variety displayed. I can see her beautiful works. You know, it's not easy to um, organize an exhibition and, and pull it off with the current situation that we have right now in Nigeria. Yeah, so I am so very, very happy for her, at least for her to showcase her work. Walking in from the door, it, it, gives, it, give, it gave me this wow impression. Yes, I've known the, the curator for quite a while, but in this case, I would, I, I would say that she outdid herself. Like there's a vast majority of, you have kente, you have fabrics, you have trees, you have stones, you have beads, you have scented candles, you have bags made from coconut shells. There's a lot, there's yeah. a lot, there's a, there's a lot in this, on, the, on this ground and every piece you can you see that every piece was painstakingly made to portray that that real African gorgeousness. This is the maiden exhibition by Ifaye Chuko Oraimeka as an artist, and the art community is enthusiastic that this will be the first of many more to come. Amazing. Well done. And there's more to enjoy, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. Next week on Art House. Who are we when the glory is gone? By Jessica Suarez at the Relay Gallery in Lagos. To another solo exhibition by Siciano Paolo at the Cocopelli Gallery. We are okay, but we are not like before. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. We appreciate you for being great company and look forward to interacting with you next time. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Do stay safe and keep being creative.